in our last video, I was working outside uh, doing the wiring, the conduit, burying, all that. That's all done, so now I'm inside and I've got the, uh, the disconnect and the solar charge controller all hooked up and working. So let's take a look at how I hooked that up. To start with, I pulled the power into a, a standard metal box uh, on the inside of the garage. From here, I'm using all uh, regular half-inch metal conduit stuff, just uh, inexpensive off-the-shelf parts from a hardware store. So an offset up to some half-inch conduit, uh, half-inch conduit um, holders, straps to hold it in place. Now, up here, I had to go kind of... Uh, offset a bit and I didn't have a conduit bender so I just stuck some of the conduit in my anvil through the hole and used that to bend this. Now what I've got up here is this is a, uh, a safety switch. This is my photovoltaic disconnect box. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. Um, basically the black wire and the red wire are the negative and positive from the solar panel and they go through a switch and a fuse. So this is my big on-off switch for the solar system. So um, the switch can even be locked in the off position if you want, but basically it's the on-off switch and it adds uh, fusing as well. Now right here, this is the solar charge controller. This is something I already had. Um, I did basically take a big board and I screwed down both the disconnect and the charge controller uh, to the board I put a little uh, connector between the two for the, the power to pass through. So you can see here at the bottom, the black and red wires connect through into here. That was real easy to wire. All I had to do was follow the diagram that came with the charge controller. Very, very simple. Your two red wires, your two black wires. Uh, so two of them are from the solar panel and two go to the batteries. Now the batteries are not connected, but I used this 30 amp Anderson disconnect, um, screwed that right to the board. So all this was together, and then I mounted that entire board to the wall with uh, four deck screws. Now, normally this comes with just a, uh, a plain faceplate. Let's take a look at that. So this is the regular faceplate for the box. All it is, is is just a cover. That's really it. doesn't do anything more than that. Um, but I still really needed an ammeter and a voltmeter to see how much power I was doing. So I purchased this. This is not just a faceplate. It's got some circuitry on the back. Uh, for tracking power, so it does volts, amps, watts, and cumulative amp hours. Uh, you can think of that kind of like a, like a odometer or trip odometer. And it's real simple, it's just got one little cord, like kind of a telephone plug. So this just plugs in right here. And then this goes in place. So now all we have to do is uh, put the screws back in, mount the cover plate back up. And I've already got a custom cord made up. It's uh, some heavy six gauge cable with the same Anderson disconnect on the end. All I have to do is plug that in at the bottom of the charge controller. And then the other end just uh, plugs into either my 1970s electric city car, or in this case, into my electric motorcycle. Now once the battery pack's plugged in, it's going to uh, show the voltage of the battery pack. In this case, it's 46.4. Uh, is uh, These batteries are pretty run down, uh, but that's okay because I'm going to recharge them now. So with the solar panel cables on the roof reattached, if I flip this up, we'll start charging. And unfortunately, it's a really overcast day, so we're only making uh, two amps. We're doing about 93 watts right now, uh, and the voltage will continue to rise, and when it gets sunny out, the amperage will rise, and eventually, with it being sunny and the battery uh, getting full, um, eventually the, the amps will taper back down as well. But in full sunlight with thirsty batteries, I should be able to do eight amps on this system or up to about 400 watts. So that's about it. It's uh, not really rocket science. Um, it is an overcast day today, so that does show a limitation of renewable energy systems. Uh, for example, solar only works during the day, and it doesn't work as well when you have a lot of clouds out. Um, on the other hand, wind only works when the wind is blowing, uh, but a lot of times that's at night. Uh, but the great thing is when you combine a renewable energy system 
with uh, batteries, it kind of sort of doesn't really matter when you get the energy as long as you do get that energy. Uh, also, the system I'm planning on uh, using with my, uh, my poor man smart grid setup, so I should be able to take my entire garage off grid using the system as well, uh, combining it with my UPS. Uh, so until next time, stay charged up. If you want to keep up to date with all of my do-it-yourself projects, you can check out my clean transportation blog at 300mpg.org and all of my do-it-yourself backyard, household, and clean transportation projects at ecoprojecthere.net. See you there.